there is a lost soul that me, he, the gospel, the word of God, you should do it in that particular time, immediately. Are you with me? Church members, please listen. We need this sign of ministry. We need to give more time on the word of God. On this dying man. And not only that, beloved in the Lord, we can see the time is so precious. Precious! The time is gone! You cannot rewind the time. You cannot undo the time. There is a saying that you cannot touch the running water twice. Are you with me? You cannot touch the running water twice. Opportunity comes only once. Where will you stand for opportunity? Time, beloved in the Lord, is very important. Some spend their time into gambling. Some spend their time into drinking. Some spend their time backbiting. Some spend their time in karaoke, in drugs, in busy bodies. Those are wasted times. Spend it with your family. Spend it with all. Spend it with your work. Spend it with God. That's his supposedly the work of every member of the local church. Not only that, the victim calls him treatment. Fine treatment. Maybe those fine, those high is intended for anything or any, anywhere else. But he gave it to the man who is in me. Are you with me? He gave to the man who is in me. And he treats the man so that he could go back and become normal again. Not only that, it cost him, the victim cost him trouble. Time, treatment, trouble. I know some of you are in trouble. Amen. Praise God, we have a God who can control the trouble. Amen. Last Friday, Brother Mario preached about heart trouble. It's good message. Amen. And love it in the Lord. What, what kind of trouble is this? Look at verse number 34. And went to him and bound up his wounds and pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast. Broke him to a knee. Took care of him. Instead of the Samaritans who is riding on the beast or the ass or the horse. I don't know what kind of beast is that. And I know that beast could carry a man. Bible says instead of him riding the animal. Ganda ng momento mo. Is it that he was in trouble instead of him? He is not the one who is carrying the guy with the injured man at the back of the beast and he is looking for an in. He was in trouble. It's a risk of walk. It's a risk of walk. Amen? Are you with me? It's a risk of walk. This man sacrifices a lot just for the sake of the dying man. If you have some visitors, friends, relatives, and you're inviting them to come into the church, they would say, I have no money, I have no pay. No And not only that, beloved in the Lord, the victim cost him treasure. It's not only time, it's not only treatment, it's not only trouble, it's also cost him treasure. The Bible says in verse number 35, And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the house and said unto him, Take care 
of him, and what saw ever thou spendest more? When I come again, I will repay thee. Instead of living in the man, they would have been in the inn, or in the hotel, or in the motel. He says, this is the cast of us. Whatever that man needs, I'll come back no more, and I will. I will. Church members must be a good Samaritan. Amen. We need to do that, not to be saved. So I'm talking about salvation because works cannot save. Why are you doing a good Samaritan's work? To prove that you are a child of God. Are you with me? That proves that you are a child of God. It's so hypocrisy. It's a hypocrite to say that I'm a child of God and you are not doing. You have no mercy. You have no sympathy. You have no action of the people who are in need. Are you with me? Amen. We need to be good Samaritans to our friends, neighbors, relatives, or colleagues. It cost them treasure, beloved in the world. And number five, and the last. What's number one? It's a ministry of? Amen. Number two is a ministry of? Amen. Number three? Number four, number five in the last, it is a ministry of effectiveness. If you will just do your part, if you will just do in your part, it will have a good result. You will be effective. Stop looking to each and everyone. They say, oh, 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 they are not doing that. I'm doing my, 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 my part, but they are not doing that. I will also have to do my part. No, it's not like that. Just do your part. Because you and I are accountable to God. And that man, or that brother, or sister, who is not doing his part, he is not accountable to you. He is not accountable to the pastor. He is, or she is, accountable. Yeah. Just concentrate on your part. Yeah. You have warned them. You have warned her. You are trying to bring it, bring her, bring them to the Lord again, but they refuse. At least you have done your part. They are accountable for that. Are you with me? It is a ministry of effectiveness. Look what happened. The Bible says that this king, that, the, that, that this man, the dying man, that the Samaritan broke on him. The Bible says that king is a type of a local church. After this man got saved, washed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, type of the wine, filled with the Holy Spirit, type of the Holy Ghost, he is now saved. You need to put him into the church. Be effective in the ministry. Or to be completely recovered from the injury. Are you with me? It is a church ministry. Why it is effective? Because that man was brought into the church. That's why I call it church ministry. This verse. Friends and loved ones, that is our obligation to you. That's, that is our part in telling you the word of God. That is our position to tell you that there is a Savior. That is not, there, there is none like other ones. That there is a, a God, an almighty God, a supreme being in, in, in the third heaven watching us. The Bible says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In verse number 14, that Word became flesh and blood among us, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Are you with me, this morning? You need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. You need. Repent of all your sins. You need to acknowledge that you were a sinner in His son. Let me tell you this. The certain man, 
You are not dead. You are going to die soon. I'm not telling you that. I'm not scared of you. Why? It's a fact. We have a lot of doctors, but they cannot stop the death. Our science is progress. But they cannot kill death. They can kill cancer. They can kill leukemia. Maybe in the future they can cure whatever disease, the age. But I tell you, there is no cure for a soul that is sick or is going There is no cure for that. Except the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is none righteous. No, not one. Even if you are a doctor, engineer, or president of the Republic of the Philippines, the Bible says there is no righteous, no, not one. For all have seen, all means either. Until now, our children, until the future generation, all are sinners in the eyes of God. You may be righteous in the sight of your boss, in the sight of your parents, but in the sight of man or God, you are dead. You are not righteous. Because that is what the Bible says. There is no righteous, no not one. And in Romans chapter number 6, verse number 23, the Bible says, For the wages of sin is death. You need to pay for your sin. That is the way of life. That is heaven. It's a literal life. It's not a spiritual fire. Come on. The rich man in hell has been there for 2,000 years until now. The people that God cursed, the Sodom and Gomorrah, they are still in hell until now. The people who rejected the Lord Jesus Christ, who mocked the Lord Jesus Christ, the people, the Jews, the Gentiles, that mocked the crucifixion, and says, if thou art Christ, come down from the cross. Do you know where they are now? They are down. I'm not scared of you. If you don't believe us, it's no worry. It's not our problem. It's not our problem. But the Bible says you need to put your trust on the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he is not lying. If you say, I don't believe on hell, you mean to say that Jesus is, is lying? I don't, I, I don't believe that, uh, that evangelist is preaching. I don't, I, don't, I don't believe him. You mean what I pray with the word of God, that Jesus Christ is lying? You don't believe that God can forgive you? It's up to you. But that is what God promised. You don't believe that God can, 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 uh, can save you from your sins? You don't believe that God can bring you to heaven and give you eternal life? It's up to you. It's up to you. That's why we need decisions in life. We are making decisions every day. We are making decisions what we, what we eat, what we wear, where we, where we go. We need to make the right decision in your future. Whether heaven, or hell. Believe or not to believe. It's up to you. But we have done our part. We have compassion on the certain man that is you. We have sympathy on that certain man that is you. That's why we invited you here to hear the word of God. We have done our part. Preach you the solution. Preach you direct from the word of God. Yeah? Something you will say, no, I don't want to be, you know, to get cured. I don't like to be that. Ah, uh, uh, somebody will take care of me. Maybe the hospital will come. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of hospital staff already. You know, that invited me to be here just to visit the room. Are you with me, visitors? I will not take you know, All I want, all I ask is just use your mind. Idols, stones, rocks, woods that is carved and prayed by the people who will not say that 
tayo iso. Idolatry is a sin. That's God. That's God. That's what God said. It's a sin. You see? Why are you praying? Whether you reject Him or accept Him. Let's all bow our heads. Close our eyes. This is yours. It's for you. It's for you. Prayers. I need prayers from our church members. Visitors, close your eyes. I'll just give a little invitation. Close your eyes. Search your hearts. <coughs> Search your soul. Search yourself. Ask yourself if I'm going to die right now. Where will my precious soul will go? If I'm going to stop breathing right now, where will I spend eternity? Ask that to yourselves. Think about it. Think about it. We have presented to you the problem of sin. And we have presented to you the solution of the Savior. Take a moment. I want you to take for a moment. Please. This is not a wasted, wasted time. This is not a wasted time. Think about for a while. I will not hold you for too long. I just want you to, to realize what is your Stranger, or what is your position in God right now? If you die tonight, are you sure you're going to heaven? Don't answer that. If you don't know, and if you are not sure of going to heaven, that is a fact, that is a truth, that you are not safe. Because Apostle Paul said, for we know if our earthly bodies are this tabernacle. Oh, beloved in the Lord, there is a tabernacle or there is a body, a glorious body in heaven waiting for us. Oh, beloved in the Lord. Christians, I want visitors, have you realized it right now? Let me ask you this question. All eyes bow, all eyes close and bow your heads. Let's continue to search our hearts. Give our presence to the Lord right now. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Are you willing to receive and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ? Just like what I have said, He is the only person that was crucified, buried, and rose again. Are you saved? You want to be saved? The Bible says, visitor this morning, that He gave His heads for the crown of thorns for you and for me. He gave His face to be slapped, to be spit upon, to be smite by the Roman soldiers. He gave His back for the heavy cross and He carried it. He carries it up to Calvary. He gave his back for the whipping of the Roman soldiers with cut on nine days. Could you imagine the anguish, the pain that the Savior is suffering at that day and time? What is your response? He did it for you. He did it for me. And yet you will say, no, I will not receive it. I will reject it. If you do that, there is no reason that when you face God, He will also reject you and will condemn you to the eternal fires of hell. Because He had done His part. He loved you. He shed His blood for you. He gave His life for you. The blood that He 
shed is not the blood of the bulls, not the blood of the pigs or roosters. It is God's blood that was shed for you. The blood of God cleanses us from all our sins. Would you like to receive the Lord Jesus Christ? He gave His hands. He gave His teeth for those long nails. He gave his side for the Roman soldier's spear. And the Bible says that he literally died. And he was literally put into grave buried. Praise the Lord after three days. He rose again from the dead. He gave you assurance of eternal life. He gave you forgiveness that no man could do. That no religion could bargain. Praise Lord. That's His name. Is Jesus Christ. That's why we can sing victory after victory. Praise His name. Because He is the Savior. Sa ating po mga bisita this morning. Perhaps you have already picked. Would you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and receive Him as your Lord and personal Savior? Would you believe Him? Let me ask this question. Among all the visitors here, you wanted to receive the Lord Jesus Christ and you will not reject Him. Could you raise your hand? Could you raise your hand? Is there something? Amen. 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 What about you? Are you willing to receive the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you ready to receive Him as your Lord and personal Savior? That's the only solution. The solution is not to become a Baptist. The solution is the Lord Jesus Christ. Meron pa po ba before it close? You want to believe and receive. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I saw those hands. Amen. Meron pa ba? Come on. Come on. It's it's a final call. Amen. So the hot pot to each and everyone that raises their hands. Could you come forward? Come on. Don't be ashamed. Could you come forward? Amen. Come on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on. Here, forward. Come on. Come on. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. The church is praying for you. The Lord Jesus Christ sees you. Come on. To all the visitors that raises your hands. Come on. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. We will just pray for you. We will not let you say. But we will pray for you. Come on. Come on. Hindi po namin tayo hihiyain. It's our duty. And we are very thankful for each and everyone who are coming forward. Glory to God. It means you are repenting of your sins and acknowledging the fact that you can do nothing without the Lord Jesus Christ. Come, come, come forward. Is there anybody else before I close? Please be washed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Ghost. Is there someone else? Come on. Don't be afraid. Come on. You just come forward. We will just pray for you. Maybe it's too late tomorrow. Maybe it's too late next week. Maybe it's too late next month. We don't know and we don't hold of our tomorrow. We don't know of our time. Come on. We are about to close now. Come on. There are still people who are coming forward. Come on. We will pray. We will pray. Amen. Come on. I challenge you. Receive and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Please. Don't go to hell. Without the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. We will pray for you. We will pray for you. Come on. Come on. Amen. We will close now. We will close now. Church members, I want you to pray. Pray very hard for these people. Come on. We are about to close. 
Christ. The invitation is about the words. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ, my mind, he said, Come unto me, all ye that are made may go heavenly and I will be with us. It's a good word that Pastor preached today. And that word is a very important, very interesting word. And that word is the word compassion. You know what led the Lord Jesus Christ to die because of Calvary? It was His compassion. You know why we have this anniversary celebration? Because of compassion. For those of you who came forward, look at me now. Alam niyo ba kung bakit kayo lumapit sa harapan? Lumapit kayo sa harapan because you want to receive me as your own personal sake. This is the most important decision that you make in life. I don't care what is your past. I don't, I'm not interested in your past. God is not interested in your past. God is interested in what you're doing today. That's a good thing. We have men here in the back. Men, can you please come forward? And this man will lead you, show you the way of salvation. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to bow down your head and pray. For those of you visiting with us today, please pray with me, members of Borgate Baptist Church. Dakilang ama na makapangyarihan sa lahat sa umagang ito, kami po ay dumuluod, papasalamat, nagpapakumbaba. Sa mga kaluluwang lumapit sa harapan, pinihilim po namin na ang inyong pagtatrabaho, ang inyong kapangyarihan na maghari sa pila. Sa kanilang desisyon na ginawa sa umagang ito, Panginoon, pinihilim po namin na kayo ang gumawa sa kanilang mga desisyon. Later on, Lord, sometimes we'll explain to them the message of salvation, in a prayer, Lord, you're going to receive them. The same way that you receive the men, women, all of you are the You said in your word, if, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. Here's what we're going to do today. Tatanggapin namin kayo ng aming sarili ng kapag-ipas at simula nito magbabago kami ng buhay dahil po ang Panginoong Christ Jesus ang titira sa aming mga puso. Oh Lord, awakan mo ang kanilang mga decision. I pray Lord for this morning service Lord, I pray Lord for the pastor, bless him tremendously, bless the visitors and guests, especially and just the last minute of this celebration. Fellowship, the power, the picture taken, most especially Lord, for the decision. Wala po kami magagawa kung wala po kayo kami. Kaya hanggang sa huli pagkakataon, nagpapasalamat po kami. Now all these things I pray, Christ, that's just name. Amen. Let's sing one song.
Store.